DNS. The domain name system, DNS, are the yellow pages or address book of the internet. It is easier for humans to remember names than IP addresses and to access websites online through domain names like google.com. In the networking world, computers do not understand names like humans do. Computers identify each other by numbers, and that's how other similar devices talk and identify each other over the network, which is by using numbers, such as IP addresses. Web browsers interact through Internet Protocol IP addresses. DNS translates domain names to IP addresses so browsers can load Internet resources. DNS servers eliminate the need for humans to memorize IP addresses, such as 110.225.16.10, in IPv4. So in order to bridge the communication gap between computers and humans and make the communication a lot easier, networking engineers developed DNS, and DNS stands for Domain Name System, and DNS resolves names to numbers. To be more specific, it resolves domain names to IP addresses. If you type google.com, the browser needs to know the IP address of the site you're trying to access. So it sends a request to the DNS, which is sort of like the Internet's version of the Yellow Pages that matches a site URL, or Uniform Resource Locator, to an IP address. The DNS request first goes to the recursive name server, which is typically operated by your Internet service provider. But you can also use public servers managed by Google or other organizations. The different types of DNS server. Once a DNS query is entered, it passes through a few different servers before resolution without any end user interaction. DNS recursor. This is a server designed specifically to receive queries from client machines. It tracks down the DNS record and makes additional requests to meet the DNS queries from the client. The number of requests can be decreased with DNS caching when the requested resources are returned to the recursor early in the lookup process. Root Name Server This server does the job of translating the human-friendly host names into computer-friendly IP addresses. The root server accepts the recursor's query and sends it to the TLD name servers in the next stage, depending on the domain name seen in the query. Top-level domain TLD name server the TLD name servers are responsible for maintaining the information about the domain names. For example, they could contain information about websites ending in .com or .org or country-level domains like www.cloud.com, www.devops.com, and others. The TLD name server will take the query from the root server and point it to the authoritative DNS name server associated with the query's particular domain. Authoritative Name Server In the last step, the authoritative DNS name server will return the IP address back to the DNS recursor that can relay it to the client. This authoritative DNS name server is the one at the bottom of the lookup process that holds the DNS records. Think of these as the last stop, or the final authoritative source of truth in the process. How does a DNS work? If you type google.com, the browser actually needs to know the IP address of the site you're trying to access, so it sends a request to the DNS, which is sort of like the Internet's version of the Yellow Pages that matches a site URL, or Uniform Resource Locator, to an IP address. The DNS request first goes to the recursive name server, which is typically operated by your Internet service provider. The DNS is responsible for converting the host name, what we commonly refer to as the website or web page name, to the IP address. The act of entering the domain name is referred to as a DNS query, and the process of finding the corresponding IP address is known as DNS resolution. DNS queries can be of three types, recursive query, iterative query, or non-recursive query. 1. Recursive query. These are queries where a DNS server has to respond with the requested resource record. If a record cannot be found, the DNS client has to be shown an error message. 2. Iterative query. These are queries for which the DNS client will continue to request a response from multiple DNS servers until the best response is found, or an error or timeout occurs. If the DNS server is unable to find a match for the query, it will refer to a DNS server authoritative for a lower level of the domain namespace. This referral address is then queried by the DNS client and this process continues with additional DNS servers. 
3. Non-recursive query. These are queries which are resolved by a DNS resolver when the requested resource is available, either due to the server being authoritative or because the resource is already stored in cache. 